Hey there, it's Red Knight the Master Chef, and we are back with Food Stream for a cool look at a beautiful, beautiful restaurant design. And I think you're going to like this one as well. So are you totally ready to be blown away like I am? Well, let's go and have a look. So we're going to press the button for Skylet again. And I've been told there is a wonderful design here that I could actually fly into and I will totally enjoy it. And oh my god. Wow, look at that. Straight away I can see that there's something really, really interesting here. So if we zoom out, we do the camera option, we go out, and then we go into the distance. Like, whoa! Will you get a load of that one? Now, wow! Oh my god, oh my god, I love it. I really do. Look at that beautiful helicopter pad there on top there. The beautiful black design there. The interactive seats as well. The windows and the doors all blended in together. And the actual name at the top as well. Look at the way she's actually left the green around the outside at the back of the building as well to give the impression that it's actually much much higher and if we zoom on in and you look at this design up close you can see it's actually really really easy to make this one so it's not that challenging of a design to actually copy and I think there was going to be a few people out there in the world now that will be taking this design a little bit more and then maybe incorporating this into their actual restaurants as well but I do like it. Now, many moons ago, we actually had the Food Street team updating the chairs. So they became more interactive. And because they are interactive like this, you get the ability to actually have visitors sitting down on them. They're going in and out the door, they're vanishing, they're appearing, they're sitting down, and it's a regular occurrence. Now, because of this, when you actually zoom out, it feels as though people are actually going into the building, out of the building, and are sitting down on those chairs. Like, whoa, totally totally wonderful. Now some of this decoration you can't actually get through the actual shop itself. You've got to get them from the special packs that we had within the game. And you can see here where she's actually got some of those window basket designs there as well. That gorgeous little water design there as well. I like it. I really do. Now some of these you're going to have to buy of course. Some of them you can get within the game during the events. Some of them as you level up. But do create your own design. And let's zoom in on this one in a little bit more so you can see the detail and then maybe mimic it yourself. Now if you look around the back there you'll see a lot of the actual land itself is not covered. So she's left it basically green. Now this green effect itself actually gives you the impression that the building is much much higher. So when you're doing your design like this you've got to make sure that you leave the outside clear. Don't put anything there at all otherwise it does affect the design especially if you're going up many, many tiers. As we zoom in here, you can see that it's actually a mix of different floor pieces. It looks like you've got the actual slate one there, you've got the wood as well, you've got the actual sign there from the actual restaurant as well, you've got that ice or white glass design for the H as well on the center there, and it really does go well together. So if you're looking to copy this design, okay, this is ideal now. Now if we zoom down slightly, you get a better look at the actual flooring itself. And you can see the flooring changes again, giving you this brick-like effect. The wood is still there as well, and it really, really does look good. Okay, the actual flooring changes one more time here. We get a different slate piece there as well. And then coming back to the brick for the wall again. And then the outside changes one more time. So all of these pieces together create this gorgeous design that is actually layered. And I do like that one. So you are going to need quite a few different floor pieces to make this design. So let's zoom in just so you can get a good look at what's actually there if you wanted to copy. Now I'm hoping that many of you will actually try to copy this design. If you do so, it will be much, much better. Right, now if we zoom on out here, you'll see that she's actually got the chairs down at the front as well. Customers can come in, they can sit down, and that's a lot of tables and chairs there all mixed in. Using the actual tofu decoration as well, a nice little border there between each of the tables there, creating a wonderful design as well. Mixing there with the VIP statue, coming straight down to the front again. Okay, you've got those swing seats with interactive customers sitting down. You've got that gorgeous fountain, so a water design there as well. It does look good. 
Now, that's not the only 3D style design there. If we look to the left and to the right, you'll see the same kind of thing again. Now, in this case, it depends on which direction you actually look at it. If you swing to the left and swing to the right, it's almost as if the building is moving. So I like that in its appearance. And again, if we zoom on in, you can see the actual sand surface there being used. You can see, again, the actual different tiles being mixed in with this design. So again, go for it. Copy this design. This is your actual machine area. The machines itself are not so important. Remember, you're just putting those out of the way, creating a rather interesting design design for the roof. Now, by using these machines here, you've almost got like a chimney effect as well. Now, at some stage in the future, I'm actually hoping that Food Street will give us angle roof pieces as well. Because imagine if you could actually have a roof piece that would angle over the back here. Imagine the design that we could get there. Really, really cool, I think. Coming over here again, you'll see the double doors there, windows being used again, people going in and out and then vanishing. Uh, you've got this interactiveness as well, and I like it. Really, really does look good. Now, overall, another wonderful design, and I'm totally impressed. So, Skylet, again fantastic and it does look absolutely gorgeous now remember if you do want to actually check out her designs do come back regularly she's in angels rule she's not the only one within the team that's got designs if you actually look through as well you'll notice that angels actually has a gorgeous design as well in fact let me go and show you now so you can just see so if i pop on over to angels you'll see that she's got this beautiful pink design as well there as we zoom on out as well look at that entrance leading up to a very very gorgeous tower style building so two people within the same club very very creative beautiful designs i like it now let's just zoom in on this one so you can see what's actually necessary here so again look at the flooring for this design gorgeous 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 now this one's a lot simpler than the other one that you just looked at it's more about spacing out it's more about going for a tower like effect here there's fewer windows and doors but again as you scroll on down here you can see that this one's actually got a longer body to it and it does look really really good it's interesting how you've just got the doors off to the one side with the actual animal houses there as well but not to the other side this creates a really really interesting entrance style effect as well and I like it specifically for that in fact the whole driveway walking down to this actual restaurant is really really good so again another pleasing design like I said go and check them out go and have a look at both of these restaurants they're within Angel's Rule Skylet and Angel fantastic job I love your designs and I'm looking forward to actually copying them a little bit later within the game as well gorgeous 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 if I do say so. Okay, right, that's Red Knight finishing off this video. If you would like to subscribe to my channel, please do so. Just hit the subscribe button. If you want to leave a comment below the video, again, please do so. Uh, I'm more interested in seeing your comments actually passing on to the designers of these gorgeous restaurants. Uh, also, hit that thumbs up button if you like, or the thumbs down, again, if you're not so keen on it. But either way, I will see you next time. Take care, enjoy cooking, and good luck with any events that are up and coming. See you all later. Bye-bye.